This display seemed like it was set in a school, but now it looks more like a hospital. Oh, Yukiko! I was trying so hard to pretend I hadn't noticed! An abandoned school is scary enough, but an abandoned hospital is even worse! Hey, Chie, I know what'll cheer you up. Wh what is it? You know how there's a mirror by the landing at school? When you climb the stairs while looking at your reflection in it, they say you start hearing a voice. It goes 9, 10, 11, 12. What are you talking about? There's supposed to be 12 steps on the stairs, but when you count along with that voice, there's a 13th. When you step on that step, you must not look at the mirror by the landing no matter what. Because if you do, then reflect it in it, you'll see. <laughs> I can't hear you! I'm not listening! Oh? I thought a story about our school would be less scary than a hospital story. They're both scarier! And it's a hundred times worse when you tell them in a place like this! You're gonna make Rajon cry! Nothing. Huh? She actually seems okay. I hear nothing. 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 Dude, she's gone way off the deep end. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I was just trying to console Chie. C console? Uh, I am totally fine. I can't have Yuki laugh at me. I will not be outdone when it comes to robotic speech patterns. Why would you even need to compete? And how are you losing? I mean, why aren't you consoling Rachon? It must be tough being so aghast all the time. You're pretty aghast most of the time, too, so why are you slacking off now? Why react at all? You could just leave these things be. No way. Leaving things be is the harshest thing you can do to someone. This is me being nice. Wait. Not letting stuff slide. That's being nice? Nah, I bet you're just born that way. You know, I bet the same thing's true about you. Stop it. Oh, so that's what I was sensing. Seriously, don't go there. But Yosuke is a kind man. He's made of one-third kindness by volume. The other third is made up of Juness. Uh... Isn't there another third left? <sighs> Sensei, do you know what the last third of Yosuke is? Isn't one-third kind of a lot? Couldn't you at least tone it down to one-fifth? It doesn't decrease it by much. How long are you guys gonna keep this up? It's about time we got going. Oh, right! <sighs> I guess we should go. Much as I'd rather not. Much as I'd rather not either. Hmm. <sighs> hey, Senpai. I've got something I wanna ask you about. There's something I want to talk about with this kid. I mean, dude, but I don't know what to say to him. I'm not sure I can say it right. Like, what if I say the wrong thing and his feelings get hurt? It'd be fine if this was nothing, but it's pretty serious. Like, an important talk between two guys. And, uh, what were we talking about? I am calm. I just lost my train of thought for a sec. It gets all jumbled up in my mind. I ain't good at talking. I'm pretty sure you know that already. <laughs> Don't worry, Kanji-kun. Whoa! Were you listening? You guys were stalling even after it was time to leave, so Yukiko and me came to check up on you! 
Kanji-kun, it's true that you're not good with words. But even though, or maybe because that's true, you say things more sincerely than anyone. Things you've said hit me full on in the chest, much stronger than if it had been anyone else. I think that being good or bad at speaking doesn't matter when you're trying to convey something important. It's only how strong your feelings are for that person that matters. If you're that worried about them, I'm sure that'll come across to whoever it is. Yukiko-senpai. You'll be fine, Kanji-kun. Have some more self-confidence! Chie-senpai. Right! So, does this mean you're going to confess your love? Hmm? C confess my love? To Risei-chan! To Risei-chan? What? You'd be perfect for each other. You two get along through thick and thin, and you're a pretty striking couple. Uh, instead of listing everything wrong with what you just said, let's get going for now, hmm? <laughs> wait, what? Hey, wait! Get back here, damn it! Can't just leave a bee. This is Yukiko Senpai we're talking about. Anyway, we should go quick. Oh, it's gonna be a huge headache if Yukiko Senpai comes back again. Here I come. Let's do this, leader. All or nothing.